Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again, and it's time to go hoard up. Are you guys ready? I know I sure am. I'm starting my day off early as hell right now. It's about 6:27 a.m. in the morning. I don't normally uh, wake up this early to go out hoarding, but there's a very special item that comes out today, exclusive to Target, and uh, I just happen to be in that Target last night and found out that this target only carries four uh, copies of it and uh, I went online trying to see if I can you know pre-order it and pick it up in store can't do any of that anywhere uh, in any of the areas I live in with, within driving distance so it's only an in-store pickup kind of thing and uh, it was just kind of kind of annoying and kind of crazy, so I'm up like crazy at the butt crack of dawn. As you guys can tell, the sun uh, is starting to rise. But other things come out today, um, like the, um, what's it called again? Spider-Man Homecoming, I believe uh, Samurai Jack Season 2 or whatever it is, uh, hits Blu-ray and DVD today, among some other things like Studio Ghibli stuff. So come along with me. Well guys, at my first location of the day, the local Target. But as you guys can tell, people are not coming in and out of the store yet because they're not quite open. They don't open till 8 o'clock and it's about uh, 7.21 right now. I have a little over half an hour before they open. They do have some cars in the parking lot, but you know, just employees. But it seems like I'm the only crazy asshole outside here at Target waiting to get and hopefully get the Stranger Things Season 1 Blu-ray and that VHS style box set. They only have four copies in here and I'm hoping that none of the employees, you know, like buy it themselves and stuff before the store opens and a person like me that wakes up early and comes out here doesn't get, you know, fucked on it. Don't poop on me. Don't poop on me. But guys, I don't know what it is. Sometimes when it comes to like collecting things, like I get really kind of nuts and crazy about it. You know what I mean? Not all the time, like on days I know I have off, you know what I mean? Like I know I kind of want to get out there early, but like, why Why am I going crazy for Stranger Things? I've only ever seen like an epi one episode of it when I got like this like, you know, screener version of it from my friend Michael. And uh, I, I'm just kind of nuts about this whole thing right now. I don't know what it is. Like the excitement is in me is like the, the, old, like the old school super nerd that, you know, that used to, I don't know how to explain it. Like uh, the feeling I'm, ha I'm having today is the feeling I had when I started collecting movies to begin with. You know, that excitement of wanting to get out there to get it. But like that and the, the, whole, the fact that you know it's a limited thing I think and I went on different websites like Best Buy.com and uh, Walmart.com and I went to Amazon and not one of those other sites had a different version of Stranger Things on Blu-ray so like is this a Target only thing like legitimately like you can't buy it anywhere else but Target it, it, it's kind of it's kind of like a weird little thing that's going on because I was checking it last night online and I didn't see it on any other sites for sale like you know even like a different you know uh, like it's like an Amray edition of it on Blu-ray, nothing. So like I'm just hoping I can find one today. Well guys, finally made it in the Target. They have the little thing set up over here, you know, of their cart and everything. But when I was here last night, they said they only had four copies of uh, the Stranger Things VHS box set thing, or you know, Blu-ray one. But they have way more than four. What? But of course, I'm going to be grabbing one of these. Uh, girls, uh, girls Trip came out today, which I talked about in my last, uh, you know, Blu-ray, DVD, uh, you know, hoarding up video, or whatever. And of course, Spider-Man Homecoming. But that's all I really see, uh, new release-wise, but... Oh, shit. But yeah, guys, as you can see, they're still setting up, and they have all these, you know, different carts and everything, trying to put their movies up on their thing. And this is the other thing uh, that came out today. I was wrong. I thought it was the third season, but it's Samurai Jack season five uh, that hit uh, DVD today. And at my next destination of the day, the local Big Lots. Let's head on in there and see if they have anything new or different. Taking a look at their movie section that they have, see if they got anything new or uh, different in here. All I'm seeing is a lot of DVD, a lot of DVDs. There's some of the Blu-rays over there, which I'll look at too in a minute. I'm just trying to see if there's anything kind of cool. Season two of Men of a Certain Age. I like the actors that are in it, but I've never seen the show before. But yeah, I'm not just gonna start with season two. My mom might like that show probably. If I see season one here, I might grab it for her because she loves her TV show stuff. But yeah, Green Lantern, Universal Soldier. I kind of remember liking the first Universal Soldier, but the other ones, like this one, I don't really remember that that much to be honest. Jet Li one right here, Badges of Fury. 
but it doesn't look like there's a lot of like you know really big different really anything big or different here oh that's kind of cool well guys big lots was a bust and as i'm out and about right now i just got an email notification uh from best buy saying uh your order is ready for pickup oh shit exciting news brendan it's time to pick up your order what can that order be hmm you're gonna have to wait and see well at my next destination of the day the local best buy you all know i had to come here Come on now. Well, in Best Buy right now, and they have a horrid movie display over here watching watch scream repeat of some of the like, catalog titles um, that they have you know, on sale for the Halloween season. Um, this was kind of surprising. I didn't know this one was back on print on Blu-ray. I kind of don't like this cover of uh, Pet Cemetery. Hopefully one day they will release part two on Blu-ray because that's one of my favorite ones. They have like Dress to Kill over here. So these, these ones range from like, like what, 10 bucks down to $5.99. And for you guys that are on the hunt for it, they have it over here in Best Buy. The 976 Evil Blu-ray. It's only $14.99 over here. Um, yeah, this is the first time seeing this one in stores. I talked about this one in my last um, Hoarding Up video. I thought it was a really decent pre presentation that uh, you know Sony did with this one with a special feature wise with commentary by Robert England and his wife and some you know alternate version um, of the film. So if you're a fan or if you don't know about it, Local Best Buy, man. But yeah, guys, let's take a look at some of the new ones that they have. Pretty much the only one they have that's new, yeah, the big release-wise, is Spider-Man Homecoming, the 4K, and the regular standalone edition. They haven't put out everything else yet because, I'm, you know, of course, came all early and everything like that. Of course, they have Baby Driver from last week. Here's, I think this one is a new release that came out today on 4K, the, the, how the Grinch stole Christmas, the Jim Carrey one. That That's kind of cool. But, you know, I don't know how that's going to look on, Blue, on 4K. And, guys, this is another one that was released today on 4K, Serenity. Uh, of course, this is the, you know, the movie based on the TV show Firefly. Um, I've only ever seen this movie once, but Gabriel uh, really loves this one. A lot of you guys out there that watch the videos um, like this movie too, but I don't know. I can't say it was bad, but I only ever watched it once, but that, that was released today. Along with like this this big old set, this big Spider-Man set, uh, you get all the Spider-Man movies uh, on 4K for the exception of um, you know Spider-Man Homecoming uh, all together in one big set here. For, for a minute when I first saw this thing, I thought they had all of them, including uh, Homecoming, but sad to say, the Homecoming one's not included in this set, but this is cool, man. Exclusive to Best Buy if you guys want to get this set right here. But man, guys, look how many 4K, you know, Blu-rays they have of Spider-Man Homecoming right here. And this is just only on the card. There's like a really big Spider-Man display that's up in front. And all these are like Spider-Man and all these are, you know, Spider-Man. Damn, they got a bunch of Spider-Man Homecoming. Well, guys, at a Best Buy right now, I picked up the one thing uh, I pre-ordered there a couple days ago. Glad that, glad I did, because they only had four more copies left on the shelf of what I pre-ordered. Well, if you guys want to find out what that item is, you're gonna have to wait to the end of this video uh, so I can show you. But uh, there was two other movies uh, that were released today on uh, on Blu-ray and DVD. Uh, one of them was like a Warner Brothers Batman animated film called uh, Batman. Uh, versus uh, Two-Face and the other thing was uh, what's it called American God season one which I've, I've never heard of before I don't know anything else about it but those are the other two things that uh, were released today well guys at the last stop of the day the local Kmart as the last time I was over here like two or three hoarding up videos ago uh, I thought they were gone I thought they were completely out of business already but it looks like customers are going in doors are open so I'm gonna go in there and see if I can score some cool deals it looks like things are 30 to 60 percent off in the store right now but i don't see anything that says dvds or blu-rays man guys inside kmart right now and it's looking at the signage saying everything must go and all those like 20 to 60 percent off kind of signs kind of reminds me of the days when uh i worked at blockbuster and they were going out of business and that sure as hell wasn't a good time for me because i really did like working at blockbuster well not towards the end but like you know working there you know in general it was kind of cool being a video store clerk you know because i'm in an aisle right now well, there's absolutely nothing in it. Hopefully there's movies left. Well guys, I've been walking around the store for a few minutes now and I went to the, where the movie section was before and it's, nothing's there. But all I found was this dump in full of stuff and that dump in full of stuff over here by the front registers. And I'm not even exactly sure what the pricing thing is because there's no price tags on a lot of this stuff. There is one on here, it's like $20.99 and stuff like that. But a lot of this other stuff, I'm not even exactly sure you know, what the, the price would be. Cause I, th I think they're all 30% off right now, but what the hell would the prices be? I don't know, I guess I'm gonna look through here and see if I find anything uh, interesting or cool. I already see one of my favorite movies of all time there. Oh yeah, Empire Records. But let's see, I don't know, there could be, I thought the movie section was bigger. I don't know what's going on, but all this stuff's just like the, the crap crap. Like, come on, Norma the North? 
I'm not really seeing anything really. This is kind of cool. I haven't seen it yet, but if it's only 30% off, you know, 28 bucks, yeah, I'll still pass. I guess I was right. Those two little dumpins uh, that you saw right there are the only DVDs and Blu-rays uh, that they have in the store. And the prices are not all that great. Let me show you here. I'm going to try to remember exactly what the lady told me. But uh, this one right here came up, you know, with the, you know, the discount off or whatever to 1987 for Trolls on Blu-ray. 1987, no thanks. And this one came up to be like 1296 which you can find it cheaper now, $12.96, and it's all kind of beat up the slipcover. And the same thing for this one, it was like 11 something. I'm like, they're not that great a deal. Well guys, looked around for a while, couldn't find a thing. So let's get on out of here, head on home, and I'll show you guys what I hoarded up on. All right everyone, I'm home now from hoarding up. I'm about to show you guys what I uh, picked up today. Oh shit, I didn't pick up a whole lot, but what I did pick up, was a little awesome here. The first thing I picked up was, obviously, Stranger Things. Uh, the complete first season here uh, in the VHS, you know, retro packaging. Here has, of course, uh, four discs in here. Uh, two of which are, uh, you know, the Blu-rays and uh, the other ones are DVDs and, and things like that. This is just really kind of cool, man. It has, like, all these different little retro things about it. Uh, you know, like, the VHS Hi-Fi on the side. It has like a little, you know, like rental sticker on top over here. Uh, if you guys want to see like a proper unboxing of this, I'm sure there's a couple of them online already. If you guys want to see some of them yourselves. But like this is just really kind of cool, man. And I, I just happened to get two. Uh, yeah, no, I happened to get two because there's a friend of mine uh, that didn't know if he was going to be able to make it out. Uh, to Target in time to get one, so I got one just in case he wasn't able to find one in his local store. So, hey, I got one for you, buddy, if you weren't able to, to find one. So, two copies of Stranger Things over there. So lucky uh, to find it. So weird, though, because Target's the only place that you can, get, you, can, you can get Stranger Things. You can't get Stranger Things in a different version, like at Best Buy or anywhere else, just at Target. Am I mistaken? Because everywhere I went today, I didn't see it anywhere else. The thing I got at Best Buy, uh, you know, I pre-ordered, which you guys saw in the video so far. And you guys be like, what did you get, Brendan? What did you get? It's something I'm kind of glad I did get because, you know, when I went to go, you know, pick up my, my pre-order in the front, uh, they only had like three or four copies left of this, you know, in the store, or at least this version of it. And that is, bam, oh wait, oh. It's Spider-Man Homecoming. It has that, of course, you know, pick up and store sticker on it. The new Spider-Man movie, the 4K uh, Blu-ray digital copy steel book. Uh, and I, I love the Spider-Man movies. Just had to get my hands on this one because, man, Marissa Tomei is in it, baby. And, I, of course, I haven't seen this movie yet. But uh, I love, you know, I love the Iron Man movies and I love, you know, uh, the other Spider-Man movies. And, of course, it's, you know, Tom Holland as Spider-Man. And he, the last time I saw, you know, you saw him in Spider as Spider-Man was in the Cap Captain America Civil War, which was, which was super cool. But I can't wait to, you know, pop this one in and check it out, man. It's so excited, so excited to check it out. But other than that, guys, that's all I picked up today. So let's head on upstairs for some DVD and Blu-ray reviews. All right, guys, now on to the review portion of this Hoarding Up video here. I have a small stack of stuff here to talk to you guys about, so let's get started with it. First one up is from from Arrow Video US, and this is the standalone Blu-ray edition of Herschel Gordon Lewis's classic Blood Feast. Here, uh, originally this was released on Blu-ray in the Herschel Gordon Lewis uh, Blood uh, Blood uh, the Feast collection, uh, which is kind of a really big, like pop, you know, like a big cereal box kind of size uh, set, which I have over there, which I've yet to open. Because I'm just like, what am I doing with this? You know, because I, I, I'm a big fan of Herschel Gordon Lewis. I even got a chance uh, to interview him once at Fangoria Weekend of Horror. I think it was like back in 2009 or 2008 or something like that. You can like type in Herschel Gordon Lewis interview wet movie one on youtube and you'll, you'll see it on there it's, it's, it's one of my very first interviews i ever did uh you know with this you know with a celebrity and stuff but if you guys don't know what blood feast is blood feast is actually the film that uh started the whole splatter slash gore genre of uh of filmmaking uh it's just pretty much about a guy uh named uh fluod ramsey who runs like a you know like um like a catering company or whatever and he's trying to like you know uh I don't know, like, invoke this one crazy Egyptian god or something. So he has to, like, you know, commit weird sacrifices to, like, you know, different people. And, uh, of course, he takes, you know, people out that come into his, uh, his, his shop and everything. And it's just one of those over-the-top splatter 
gore films. It's 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 movie is like is so bad it's good, and that's what you can kind of say about all of the Herschel Gore and Lewis's movies. Like you pretty much watch it to see the gore effect, to see the gore stuff. You know what I mean? Because like back then when you when people went to the theater to see stuff like that, see this movie, they were like, holy shit, what is this? And like you know they were getting sick and you know all this kind of stuff. But it's kind of cool to see it on Blu-ray at 1080p. It does look a lot better than the old DVD of uh, you know set that came out of, of these movies. I have that one signed by Herschel Gordon Lewis, the old DVD set. But you get a slew of special features in here. Uh, you get a inter you get interviews with Herschel Gordon Lewis, and uh, you know like um, you know just like behind the scenes stuff. And you also get a bonus movie on here, which was one of Herschel Gordon Lewis's first feature films called Scum of the Earth, which I sat through a little bit of. I'm just like, eh, not my kind of cup of tea. I like his you know splatter splatter movies like you know the Gore Gore Girls and. Um, uh, Color Me Blood Red, and, you know, like, he even, he even made the 2000 Maniacs movie back in the day that spawned a remake called 2001 Maniacs, but, uh, if you guys, uh, love splatter films and you guys want to see a film that started it all, definitely check out Blood Feast here, I like this new artwork right here, and of course you get, you know, two discs, the DVD and the Blu-ray up in there, but yeah, definitely check out the Arrow Video website if you guys love, uh, splatter gore flicks, I like it, the movie's bad. But like for the gore stuff, it's pretty cool. And uh, next up over here from MVD Entertainment is uh, Louis Black, uh, Black to the Future. Uh, this is, of course, Louis Black's new comedy special. Uh, but this DVD set right here comes in like this little thin case. You know, like eco-friendly, you know, kind of kind of thing. He's he's, he's a really good stand-up comic. You guys all know I love stand-up comedy. But this set right here features two uh, stand-up comedy specials, each were about like 15 minutes long, where he discusses like where he discusses like a lot of politics and stuff like that, like Donald Trump, Hillary, mental il mental illness, a bunch of different topics. Uh, you know that he he covers in his new stand-up special here. Um, I don't think it was one of his better ones. Uh, by any means, but if you are a fan of uh, you know Lewis Black, I recommend you guys checking you know checking out his new special. Um, it's like I said, it's not one of the not one of the better ones, but if you're a fan, you you you're, you're gonna have to complete your collection if you know what I mean. And uh, next up over here from Sony and Home Entertainment is uh, the Emoji Movie, which I believe comes out uh, next Tuesday on Blu-ray and 4K and all that stuff uh, in all the stores. At first, I I didn't know really know really didn't know what to think about this movie. I didn't even know if I even wanted to see this movie. I'm like, emoji movie? Really? You're making a movie on those little, like, emoji cons that you get on your phone? What? You know? I'm like, I, I'm like, I didn't even go to the theater to see it. I'm like, yeah, no, I'm not wasting my time. But uh, Sony sent this on over for me to talk about and review. So I, I'm like, you know what? I, I'm gonna pop this. I'm gonna pop this in and check it out and see what it's about and see if it holds my interest. And if it doesn't, I'm just gonna turn it off, kind of thing. But uh, I actually sat, sat through the whole movie. Uh, it's pretty much about this uh, one emoji. Uh, you know, one of the, one of the meh emojis. Uh, but yet, you know, he, his his parents are meh kind of emojis, and um, he's about to go, you know, for, go to work for the very first time. The young kid, you know, the young emoji, you know, go to work to be part of like the whole. The whole skew of of some of this one kid's phone, you know. So if this kid, like, you know, picks you, you're gonna have to like act like a eh, emoji and stuff. So it was it was kind of like like that. And he goes there for his first day of the job, and this kid that you know that he's in the phone of uh, selects him, and he goes wild and messes messes up this kid's phone somehow by you know like making a weird face like the other than the meh face that he's supposed to make, and the you know the weird you know adventure that happens afterwards when he gets you know uh fired from his job and he's trying to and his uh, boss is trying to get him deleted you know from his from this kid's phone and you know disappear forever and it's just pretty much him just trying to figure out what he's gonna do uh i found this movie to be okay you know light-hearted family uh you know film uh it, it's kind of cute for what it is uh n nothing i don't think i'm gonna watch over and over again or anything like that, but it does look beautiful here on Blu-ray. Animated films always really do look very, you know, very nice and colorful uh, when it comes to Blu-ray and, you know, 4K and all that stuff. Um, but on this Blu-ray right here, you get also a bonus short film called Puppy, which is, ho uh, which is a Hotel Transylvania short film, which, is kind of, which was kind of cute. And of course, you get, you know, you know behind the scenes, uh, you know, featurettes like a, there's a special featurette on here where an animator shows you how to draw poop. The, how to draw a poop emoji i'm like okay there we go and it's just like the animator just like this is how you draw poop i'm like okay like when i saw that name of the special feature i'm like I I'll, I'll check that one out for a second but yeah there's like a, a handful of special features on here so if you you know are interested in this definitely check it out it comes out uh next tuesday i thought it was just 
meh, in my opinion. But uh, next up over here, uh, from uh, it was called 20th Century Fox, uh, I got this one uh, sent to sent to review also, and that is Captain Underpants uh, on, over here on 4K and Blu-ray. Uh, this one, of course, is based on a popular book, kids' book series, which I've, I've never read. And it's pretty much about these two kids, um, two friends, you know, two elementary school friends who are into, you know, writing and, you know, drawing comic books and creating, creating cool content, but yet... Their their principal of their school does not does not like that does not approve and kind of wants to separate them because they're, they're they're pranksters too. These two kids love to play pranks on different kids and teachers and all this stuff in the school and this the principals like really mean and wants to separate them and put them in separate classrooms so that maybe they won't be friends anymore. But of course the kids one of the characters that these kids uh, you know made up in their little uh, comic books was the, the character of Captain Underpants. So. Uh, one day, the, the, the principal's being really mean to them in the principal's office, and one of the kids jumps up there and puts his little, like, you know, ring that he, a little special ring that he got from the cereal box, and tries to hypnotize the principal by, you know, looking into, making him look into the ring, and actually hip, 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 hypnotizes the principal, and then whenever he snap, the kids snap his finger, snaps their fingers, it, he, he turns into Captain Underpants, or, or turns into whatever the kids want him to be. I thought this movie was a lot of fun. I didn't think I was going to like it as much um, as I did but of course Kevin Hart uh, voices uh, one of the roles in here and I believe um was it Ed Helms that that voiced the other one uh, I I can't find the name on here but I I think it was Ed Helms that, that voiced like the cap, uh, Captain Underpants uh, on this on, on this movie but it was just a, it was just a whole lot of fun and of course the bad guy of the movie is not 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 the principal he's one of them but the main bad guy of the movie I just love his name Professor Poopy Pants I'm like okay Okay, this movie already has the kind of humor I like, the weird poop, you know, poop humor. But uh, yeah, this one was a whole lot of fun. I, I see myself watching this over and over again, to be honest. But well, that's Captain Underpants, the first epic movie here on 4K. And it actually does look uh, pretty damn good on that format. And uh, next next up over here is just a show I absolutely fell in love with. I'm not finished watching it at this, um, at this time. I'm on, like, disc three. My mom already watched it all the way through. And uh, this, that is uh, This Is Us, the complete first season here on DVD. Oh my God! This is like one of the most heartwarming, you know, just shows that I I I can't get enough of right now. Like I'm I'm trying to like you know marathon you know through this you know and watch of course other stuff too that I get sent that I have to talk about for you guys. But uh, it's pretty much about these three people. I'm not gonna you know give away anything that's really messed up or anything that's gonna ruin anything. But it's about these uh these three people that celebrate the same birthday, and it it, fo it follows their story and you know it cuts around. You know, to their different to the different people's story and stuff. It's just a really well done, uh, put together show. I don't want to ruin the twist of the show for you guys, but if you guys love um, heartwarming shows, I, I think you guys will really, really love it, man. I I I can't get enough of it. This set right here has um, some behind the scenes and interviews uh, with the cast and crew, like sitting around the table discussing uh, that discussing the show. And but the main reason why I wanted to see it. Uh, is because it stars Mandy Moore. I've been a fan of hers ever since the movie A Walk to Remember. I'm like, okay, I'm sold. Like, I didn't even see any clips or know what the show was about. I'm just like, Mandy Moore, boom, I'm down to check this one out. And of course, there's a character in here, uh, in this in the show, that's dealing with, you know, being overweight and trying to lose weight and everything like that. And I'm really connecting with her character uh, in this show. It's just a really well done, well, well acted and written show that I highly recommend you guys check out. So if you guys see it in your stores or on Netflix or whatever, definitely check this one out really really fun show and next up over here from paramount home entertainment is a show i saw i, I used to watch back in the day not all not, not all the time i think i might have missed some episodes but uh paramount sent on over the drawn together the complete uh collection here on uh, dvd this features all uh three seasons and the drawn together movie uh all in this well uh, you know one pack right here is which, which is you know not nicely Put in there, so no, no stack, you know, no DVDs are stacked in here or anything like that. Uh, nice, nicely uh, put together uh, set. Uh, of course, it's about these animated characters who uh, go into this house and you know try not to get voted off. It's the very first animated reality show, and it's just really crazy and over the top. Um, I, I, I just get a kick out of it. I'm so happy that uh, Paramount uh, put out the complete series here uh, on DVD with the movie, so you get all 38, already all 36 episodes plus the drawn together movie, which I've yet to see ever. So I'm definitely going to be you know jumping in on that 
uh, real soon, as soon as I finish the series, then I'll jump into the movie. But of course, this uh, this set right here has audio commentary tracks by the cast and creators, behind the scenes featurettes, uh, deleted and uncensored, uh, you know, games and stuff on this uh, DVD set right here. So I just wanted you guys all know, drawn together, complete collection out now, baby. And uh, then the next one up is from Paramount. Also, it's the 30th anniversary edition of Planes, Trains, and Automobiles here on Blu-ray. I've been a the biggest fan of this movie ever since my dad showed me this one back in the day. This is, of course, the All Flights Are Cancelled, uh, You're Screwed edition uh, here on Blu-ray. Uh, this movie was uh, released before, a couple years ago, like exclusive to Best Buy. But the the one that Best Buy had, you know, had a lenticular cover to it and everything like that. I, I bought I bought this one a long time ago. Big, big, big fan of the movie. And uh, my, my favorite scene of the movie is when, um, uh, what's, what's his name? Um... Steve Martin is going up to the car rental place, uh, you know, and trying to rent, rent a car, and he can't because there's no car available for him to get. And uh, Edie McClarick is just like, "You're fucked," you know, like all that kind of that the back and forth with him, you know, with her, him and her is like the, probably the, one of the funniest scenes in the movie. That and those aren't pillows, but it's pretty much a road trip movie about you know uh, Steve, uh, what's his name, uh, Steve Martin's character trying to get home to his family and coming across. Uh, a set, uh, what's it called, uh, a shower curtain ring salesman played by, uh, you know, uh, John Candy, and it's just like the back and forth between the two and how they don't really get along, but yet they stick together somehow to get to where they need to go. It's, it's probably one of the best Thanksgiving holiday movies out there. I love this one, like Dutch and, of course, Christmas Vacation. I, I love those movies, but if you have never seen this one before, highly recommend this one out, out there, the new 30th anniversary edition. And last... But not least here for this uh, review portion of the video uh, is from Mill Creek Home Entertainment. And that is the Blu-ray edition of Vice Versa here on Blu-ray, man. This is so cool. I know I said Blu-ray like twice for this one. But it stars uh, uh, what's it called? Judge Reinhold, Fred Savage, who you guys all know from uh, the Wonder Years. One of my favorite shows of all time. And this is probably one of the funniest body switching movies out there. Uh, it's pretty much about, you know, a father and son switching Switching, switching, you know, bodies and personalities while the dad's acting like a kid and the kid's acting like an adult. And, it's, you know, it's the craziness that happens. And I got to say, this movie looks pretty good on Blu-ray. I really wish, like, Shot Factory or, you know, like, Criterion or somebody like, put this movie. Uh, not Criterion. They, this, is, this, this is not up their alley. For that, for them, but like you know, a comp you know, like a good company that would put out special features with like you know interviews with Judge Reinhold and uh, you know uh, Fred Savage talking about the movie or like a commentary track or something. But it does look nice on Blu-ray. Happy to have this one upgraded in my collection. But that's vice versa here on Blu-ray. But guys, thank you so much for coming by, watching uh, my new Hoarding Up video today and the re review portion. If you guys made it this far into the video, uh, drop a, you know drop a, drop a comment and use using the word night owls so i know you got to the very end of this video and i'll see you guys all for the next one